it's Julie from eatlifebalance.com and today I wanted to shoot a quick video um, that's sort of going to go along with a blog post so you can read it or you can watch it whatever you like or do both um, about the six easiest ways um, or six really approaches to healthier teeth and gums from a more holistic approach so I don't want to bash traditional dentistry because that's not what is my thing. I think what I want to do is just turn it around and talk about six ways that you can really improve the health of your teeth and your gums in a more natural approach. Um, you can go to the um, the blog at eatlifebalance.com. It'll give you a little bit more information and more articles um, that you can link to. And definitely the products that I'm going to talk about today are linked in there too as well. Um, but really, you know, the traditional approach to dentistry is, um, you know, it's, it's got great foundations, of course, but I'm sure if you, you've heard um, of, you know, the fact that fluoride is really not as effective and in fact, a lot more harmful to us um, than what it was intended to be. And so, you know, when I learned that a few years ago, of course, I started to research that. So I started with researching my nutrition and then it got into more um, non-toxic skincare and then definitely I'm really big into more holistic dental care. Um, and so those three things really impact our health. So let's go quickly into it. Again, you can go to the blog post, which I'll link down below uh, to get more information. So one of the things that I was so excited about was investing in a new toothbrush and not just any toothbrush, but an ionic toothbrush. Isn't this fancy little thing? Um, this is not battery powered. Um, it's not electric. It's a, almost a regular toothbrush. Uh, but what makes it different is that it's, it's got, um, it's magnetic, it's magnetic. So it actually pulls plaque and toxins from your teeth just by putting your two fingers here, they have to be wet. Um, and, and it's quite interesting. I can really tell the difference, even when I'm brushing my teeth, the impact that it makes. And then obviously after the fact, this toothbrush is not expensive. Um, and you know, like any other toothbrush, you replace the head every once in a while. Um, and yeah, I love it. I've been using it for, I don't know, about a month now and it's the best investment ever. It's not that expensive either. Uh, everything will be linked below, okay? Um, the other thing is uh, tongue cleaning or tongue scraping. I think I have talked about this before. This little gadget is what I use every single morning and evening to scrape the junk basically on my tongue. And of course, you, you know, I don't think we pay too much attention to our tongues, but obviously um, a lot of things get trapped in there. Um, toxins and bacteria and food and things like that. And this is a really great way to get rid of them um, more naturally. And it's, I say in my blog post that you might get a little fascinated with it because you'll see how much stuff comes off your tongue. Um, and obviously the more you do it, the less that comes off, right? Cause there's less there and it's a little bit, you know, a little bit of a fascination, right? Um, so if you can invest in one of these, again, super inexpensive, um, you can just use the back of a spoon. So really amazing gadget. Um, the next one is more natural toothpaste. This is one of my favorites from Kiss my face. Um, it's fluoride free, uses um, more botanicals and more natural products, um, sweetened with xylitol, but xylitol is actually um, antibacterial. So a lot of people use it as a sweetener, like a, um, a low calorie sweetener or zero calorie sweetener. Um, and in fact, it's actually really, really good for your teeth. Um, this one's got Iceland moss extract, tea tree oil, which are antioxidants and um, antibacterial. So this is my favorite. I also like Jason's uh, Sea Foam. I'm linking both of them below. Um, so here's the thing. There's no fluoride in it. Fluoride, if you research it, um, really has no benefit to improving the health of your teeth. If you look at the research out there, and in fact, if you look at toothpaste and it says, you know, be careful of swallowing the toothpaste, you should be worried because why can't I swallow that? And so if you've got children and things like that, if you look at the effects of fluoride on the body, um, then you may want to consider 
switching over. I also make my own toothbrush from um, a simple ingredients, xylitol, coconut oil, and baking soda. Um, I use them both, uh, but my husband likes something that's got a bit of a foam to it, and so we use this. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, the other thing that I use is a mouthwash that is made with two, maybe three, very simple ingredients. Now, mouthwash, in conjunction to toothpaste, has so much crap in it, and highly can be highly toxic depending on the product that you're using. So... I got my hands on a recipe from Nadine Artemis, um, a holistic dental care book. If you follow her, she's from Living Libations. And so actually this is the book that really changed my, my uh, dental health. Um, and she's got a recipe which I'll share on her mouthwash. And basically um, this mouthwash is made with clean, purified, distilled water. Um, salt, sea salt, and if you can, essential oils, and essential oils that are known to be antibacterial and antifungal and things like that. And you swirl it in your mouth. Um, I do it before I brush and after I brush um, twice, just a little bit. And what it does is it neutralizes the pH in your mouth. So it's becomes a little more alkalizing. Um, and so a lot of people get cavities because of too much acid in their mouth. That's not the only reason, but that's one of them. And so this is a really great way to get rid of um, that. It's really healthy for your gums. If you have any, if you've had any dental work, it's really soothing for that, it helps in the healing process. I mean, there's just a long list of it. And all it is, is water, salt, and essential oils. So, um, my next product that I want to talk about is essential oils. And so this one actually has cardamom. It's an incredibly powerful herb. Um, antibacterial, of course, anti-inflammatory, um, lots of antioxidants, things like that. That's just the one that I've used. Ooh, it's so powerful, but it's so tasty. Um, peppermint, clove, cinnamon, all of these um, essential oils, if they're the right brand, pure therapeutic essential oils have um, really amazing properties to them. So depending on what you're looking for, I like sort of the cardamom, cinnamon, clove flavors, orange um, for that, but you can throw in peppermint and orange. So if you get that minty, fresh taste that you want, that's the way to go. And all you need is a drop or two, and that's it. It's amazing. Um, so the last one is the one I, I've been talking about for, well, years I've been using the practice, but this particular product um, I've been using, I think, for the past month, and I love it. I wish I would have invented it. It is so smart. Have you heard of oil pulling? Because it's super cool and super easy to do. And so really all oil pulling in is traditionally um, you would use sesame oil. Uh, the little more modern way is coconut oil and you swirl it in your mouth about a teaspoon into your mouth uh, for about 10 to 20 minutes. You know, there's some people that say five to 10, some people that say 20. I mean, whatever you can do, I ideally would lean on the 10 minute at least, at the very least. Um, I do it while I'm showering and then spit it out. So um, it's perfect. And so really what oil pulling does, it, it's, it draws out the toxins in your mouth, your tongue, your teeth. Well, um, it will whiten your teeth naturally. And then if you really want to get down to the to the core of health, a lot of these things, what they do is, you know, they're, they're not going to affect your hormones. Um, you know, a lot of people just have a lot of toxic buildup in their, their mouth and their teeth. Um, and you might find that your health improves. Um, coconut, sorry, oil pulling is really good for sinuses. Um, so if you have sinus issues, um, it's been helpful for that. I've heard people who've said that their sleeping is better, probably because it's improving sinuses. There's so many benefits to it, and it's such an inexpensive way to to really clean your teeth naturally, whiten it naturally, all of those things. I love this product from Kismet. It's their Cocoa Rinse. Um, it's a coconut oil pulling kit, and I can't talk about it enough. The packaging's pretty amazing. And it comes with, of course, a how-to 
uh, oops, <laughs> how to um, rinse your mouth or do uh, oil pulling. And then all these little mini packs of coconut oil for a healthier smile. Um, I love this because this is obviously, this is great for somebody who's not good at measuring, so it's prepackaged. It's got peppermint essential oil in it, but I like it. This is my travel friend. Um, so this saved me when I was on a um, trip down into the US. I didn't have to tote along my coconut oil and I get these little packs. So uh, what I love about Kismet, um, about this brand, it's Kismet Essentials is the company actually. I'll link everything below. But what I like about it is that this is healthy coconut oil. There's a lot of coconut oils out there. It is cold pressed coconut oil. That's really important. Um, it's fair trade coconut oil. That's very important. And it's a sustainable company. So really um, in the areas that they're pulling the coconut oil, get that. Funny, hey? Where they are getting the coconut oil from, they are, you know, supporting the local area, making sure that uh, they're using their sustainable practices, that sort of thing. And that's really important, um, I think, because coconut oil is so big right now. So you can get this online easily. I love it. Love it. Anyways, I am going to uh, link you below to the post to every single product that I talked about. Um, I'm going to give you the recipe for this salt rinse and you're gonna love it so make sure you subscribe really important I'll link you up below and make sure you leave a comment let me know what you do and what you're going to adopt uh, in one of these six ways of improving your tooth and gum health and don't forget to find me at eatlifebalance.com. You will find me on Snapchat under my name, Julie Pekarski. I am on Instagram under Eat Life Balance, obviously Twitter and Facebook at Eat Life Balance too as well. Make sure you find me somewhere there.